Welcome back and let's continue with this mini course of non-invasive mechanical ventilation. Please make sure you watch these episodes in order and today we're going to talk about contraindications when not to use it. As I said, every time you're thinking about invasive mechanical ventilation, think of this first if we can avoid intubation. But sometimes we cannot use this and we need to proceed immediately to invasive mechanical ventilation. If the patient is unstable hemodynamic and unstable he is in for example in shock and organ failure don't think about it. just go ahead and mechanical invasive mechanical ventilation if we think anticipating the patient will have prolonged mechanical ventilation this just go ahead and skip non-invasive you cannot keep somebody too long of non-invasive ventilation if the patient being hypoxic from aspiration pneumonia right the patient just vomiting became aspirated doesn't make sense and he's really hypoxic we cannot control his hypoxia with just whatever we have oxygen supplements then just intubate if you use the non-invasive ventilation you may worsen his aspiration that brings us to the big point here is mental status so the patient to use non-invasive mechanical ventilation we want them to be awake enough to be able to protect airways so they don't have to be completely awake answer question but as long as they initiating their breath they are coughing they're not drooling that means they are awake enough to protect their airways and this is specifically true in somebody with co2 narcosis from copd exacerbation they can be somnolent but when you try to wake them up or they or, or, st or like give them like suction them they will cough and so they initiate their breath so you can try um non-invasive ventilation patient is not vomiting right because if they are vomiting then we should not use it actually contraindication they are vomiting so because they will induce aspiration so these are the main uh, contraindications we could think of but remember it's also the question are they awake enough the other thing also i mean i don't know if I forgot copious amount of respiratory secretions if they having that you better avoid this because that might just make things worse because they already unable to clear this respiratory secretion and that may induce mucus plugging and worsening breathing status but remember the mental status is very important but again we're not thinking the patient has to be awake and talking as i said as long as able to protect airways drooling is a big thing the absence of drooling is good the patient arousable still with stimulation and still coughing then we still can use non-invasive ventilation and with the clothes of course monitoring so that's very important to remember if you don't have these contraindications please give them a try of non-invasive ventilation before you proceed with invasive mechanical ventilations thanks for watching this video please subscribe to our channel and activate the notification bell so you get to see the videos as soon as they are released glad to have you on board